Two boys rescue a dog trapped between some block walls in a park in Mesa. They could hear the crying of the dog. So they've sprung into action. Nine-year-old James and six-year-old Caden what did you want to do? found the dog wedged between the walls, block walls near Gilbert Road and Main Street. James and Caden got an adult neighbor to help, but the dog wouldn't budge and the heat triple digits. Boy, it's a race against time. So James decides, look, we got to call the Mesa Fire Department. We were running against the wall and we saw something move and then we went to look what it was and it was a dog so we we try to save it they did of course they're going to try to save it but what a tight squeeze the fire department animal control responded first they poured some water on the dog and eventually pulled the little animal out as for the and by the way the pup is now with animal control as for the kids mesa fire last night let him ride in the big red fire truck to celebrate the happy day <laughs> Boys rescue a dog that was trapped in a Mesa park. And the good news is the dog is doing well tonight thanks to their actions. Jessica Flores joins us live now with a, a happy story, Jess. Yeah, Troy, definitely is a heartwarming story. It all happened at a park near Gilbert Road and Main Street this afternoon. The two kids, they were just playing, and then they heard a dog crying, and they sprung into action. Today, me and my cousin Kaden saved the dog from uh, almost dying. Nine-year-old James and six-year-old Caden were just kids playing around when confronted with a very grown-up problem. How would they rescue a dog stuck in a very tight spot? We were running against the wall and we saw something move and then we went to look what it was and it was a dog so we we tried to save it. The dog was wedged between two block walls behind a house. James and Caden got an adult neighbor to help, but the dog wouldn't budge. In triple digit heat, it was a race against the clock to get the dog to freedom. So James decided to call the Mesa Fire Department. The nine year old called 911. So yeah, he did a good job. The fire department and animal control responded. They poured water on the dog, eventually pulling the dog out. It had a collar and I think, uh, I hope that the family will come forward and uh, claim the dog. The kids don't know the dog's real name, but these boys already have their own name for the pit bull mix. I'm gonna call you lucky because you're lucky that me and my cousin saw you. And right now, animal control, they have the dog. And as for the kids, tonight, Mesa Fire let them ride in that big red fire truck to celebrate their good deed. Reporting live, I'm Jessica Flores, Fox 10 News. They got a fire truck ride? That is awesome. Thanks, Jess. Coming. Today, me and my cousin Kaden saved the dog from uh, almost dying. Wow, two little boys in Mason played the role of superheroes today, including Caden there, saving a dog in distress. The duo saw this pup stuck in this tight spot and yelping for help. Ah, the boys called for backup and enrolled the Mesa Fire Department. The firefighters spent an hour freeing the pup. Ah, he was in a tight spot. The boys are hoping someone recognizes the dog so he can get back home with his family. But they're little heroes tonight. Very nice. Mm, speaking of... There's something start moving and stuff. And we looked right here, we came and looked what it was, and there's a dog. Quite the discovery for two cousins in Mesa. They were playing at a small park when they spotted that dog stuck in a narrow gap between two walls. Nine year old James, he called 911, while six year old Caden helped flag down fire crews. Brought us right over there. Um, they did a great job. Um, they saved that dog's life because um, that dog would have stayed there, not gotten out on its own, and probably would have died overnight because of uh, how hot it is out. Mesa Fire used a neighbor's hose to help get the dog some water to help cool it off. Animal Control then showed up with a harness, and after four tries, that dog was lifted to safety. All right. Well, two Mesa cousins, they were playing in a small park and they're now being called lifesavers. There's something start moving and stuff. And we looked right here, we came and looked what it was and there was a dog. Yeah, this is what they found here. Can you see that dog there? They spotted him stuck in a narrow gap between two walls. Nine-year-old James called 911 himself while six-year-old Caden helped flag down fire crews. 
brought us right over there. Um, they did a great job. Um, they saved that dog's life because um, that dog would have stayed there, not gotten out on its own, and probably would have died overnight because of uh, how hot it is out. Mesa Fire used a neighbor's hose to help get the dog some water to cool it off. Animal control also showed up with a harness, and after four tries, that dog was lifted to safety. For them, right place at the right time. I right? know, and they did the right thing. Yes. Well, the world famous. All right, take a look at this picture right here. That's what you call a dog in a tight spot. Well, that dog got a helping hand today from firefighters. Lena DeFlorias joining us live in Mesa tonight to show us, Lena, exactly what happened to this pup. Ah, oh, Brandon, this story could have been so heartbreaking, except two cousins age five and nine are out here playing when they find that dog wedged between these two walls. So they run home, they grab the phone and they say, we're calling the fire department. Today, me and my cousin Kaden saved the dog from uh, almost dying. They couldn't reach the poor pup, so this dynamic duo called for backup. Called the fire department. We show up and there's these, this 10 year old and six year old on the corner waving at us. The firefighters spent an hour getting the pup free. The kids got a fire truck tour and honorary stickers. Best day ever. And the pitbull got a new nickname. I'm gonna call you lucky because you're lucky that me and my cousin saw you. Now, James and Caden also have a message for our viewers tonight. They really want to see this pup back with the family who was wearing a collar after all. So if you recognize that dog, you should call Mesa Animal Control. Live in Mesa, Lena DePlorius, 3TV. Great job for those kids. All right, Lena, thank you.